Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Hi everyone, I hope all is well. You guys, it has been four months since the last time I did a retwist. This is definitely experimental. I say that because I've been doing a lot of research and I think going the semi-freeform route is more conducive. And so I'm super excited. As you can see, the sun is finally beaming. Yes, give me some of that vitamin D. <laughs> Yes, I'm being sun kissed. <laughs> so I've decided to go four months without a retwist and see if there have been any differences, any changes in the health of my locks when it comes to my roots, my scalp, just overall everything. And so I'm here to share with you my results. And so if you're interested, please keep on watching. But before you do, make sure that you subscribe. Welcome to the family. I would love to have you. And don't forget to press the notification bell so you will be notified each time I upload a future video. All right, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm here to give you a close up on my locks mainly my roots this is what four months no retwist looks like i am fortunate enough to have my hair grow inside of my locks for the most part and so i am really satisfied you guys and the crazy thing is i have no desire to retwist my roots. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know if it's pure laziness or it's just the benefits. I have four pros and one con. So the first pro is how thick my roots have been. I actually like this because it shows me that my roots are healthy. I am not running my hands through my hair a lot. I'm not doing too much to my locks in general. Like, honestly, I just use my mist right here. You know what I'm saying? It's that good old Doors Garden hydrating mist. It literally quenches my tresses. That's all it does. It's kind of like that morning dew that the plants get in the morning. And I just love the sound of it. It's so therapeutic when I spray my locks. Make sure you go check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave all the information above on the screen and also below in the description box. And then also, because of how thick my roots are, it kind of gives me volume. So that moves on to pro number two, which is volume. You guys, I don't have to do much. Because of the fro that sits on top, the locks kind of like not stick out but they're up and so it gives me this added volume it's unintentional so that's what i really love about going this long without retwisting i just absolutely love it like what volume on deck shorty volume on deck and it still move it's not stiff it ain't stiff all right let me stop but yeah you guys so that is Pro number two. Now, pro number three, you guys. I can literally wash and go. You know how in the natural community, we got the wash and go definition of you wash your hair, you apply your product, you let it dry, then you go. Kind of like the same concept, but I'm not stacking or caking products on the length of my locks. I'm literally using my mist spray right after I wash my locks. And then I'm going in with my nourishing elixir right here. I just apply it along my scalp and whatever is left on my hands, I just bring it down to the length of my locks and that's it. And I literally let my hair air dry. And for some reason, like when I was a loose natural, it used to take hours for my hair to dry. Now, as I am locked, the time has been cut in half. This is my theory. If your hair is just damp, that means it's mostly dry, it's just a little bit wet. But when you add products on top, it just prolongs the drying process. Yeah, you guys, like that's it. It's literally a wash and go. I either use a t-shirt or a turban towel and I leave it on for like an hour and that already cuts like 85 to 90% of my drying time. And then I go ahead and moisturize, like I said, and then just let it air dry, just let it hang and Within the next hour, it's dry. 
that has been so great. Um, I really don't have to worry about styling. I don't have to worry about retwisting. I don't have to worry about anything. It just, it's, it's amazing. It, it, it's amazing. Like, uh, I wish my, my loose natural hair could do that. I could literally just wet it, hop out the shower and just let it be and it'll just be detangled. But that's not the case. But when it comes to locks, honey, you could do that. You could do that. Um, and this ties into pro number four, which is less maintenance. I find that I'm not doing too much. I don't have to do anything, anything at all. The only thing I do is spritz every day. I might oil my scalp maybe once or twice a week, if that. Um, I wash once a month. I'm not adding additional products. The only thing that I put on my edges is the Jamaican black castor oil, which has done wonders because it has grown back the areas at which I lost during postpartum shedding. And I have a video for that and I'll make sure to leave it above on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, like I'm really loving this journey. I can't explain how much freedom I've experienced within this last couple months. Cause normally I go about every two months, but these last couple months, honey, your girl haven't had to do nothing. Is there any cons? Yes, there's only one con and that is matting of the roots that's the only con there is and you guys honestly that's something that i'm willing to compromise i think that the pros outweigh the cons um, there's an easy solution to you know, unruly matted roots and that is every time after i wash my locks i spritz my locks and then use my oil and then i go in lock by lock and just gently separate if i have to pop I have a video that demonstrates on how I pop my locks safely. That is that y'all. Like, I think I'm going to continue the semi-free forming journey. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best for me. I think that it, it suits me well. I think that it definitely fits my lifestyle. And so, yeah, I have no complaints, you guys. So if you're someone who's interested or considering semi-free forming, go ahead, man, listen, it will not hurt to try. And in fact, you might find that you might actually really like it. Um, if you're somebody who is not so gun hold on neat parts, neat locks, and things like that. So yeah, that's all that I have for you for today, you guys. I just wanted to give you an update and I'm loving it. So I think I'm going to go another month because at this point, I mean, one more month, what what will one more month do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, just I'm not in the mood to retwist. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I'm just continue to let it do what it do. I mean, now, if you're somebody whose new growth grows outside of the lock, then now that's a different story. You may not be able to go as long, or you may have to use a different technique to make sure that the loose hair are staying, you know, put in each individual lock. But other than that, you guys, listen, it's the best thing for me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it this far to the end of the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell and I'll catch you in my next video. All right, loves. Bye.